Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Um, ignore the state of my nails. I know they are tragic right now, but I'm going to be painting them later. Um, I know I haven't filmed in a while. Uh, all my nails, I had broke several and ended up having them really, really short and just did not feel like even painting them because they were so short. Um, and then I had some personal stuff going on, uh, but everything's great now. My nails are starting to grow out a little bit and I have a really fun video today. So I got on Facebook Marketplace and I got 151 nail polishes. It was like a salon that was going out of business. Um, and they are all captioned nail polishes, which I hadn't um, heard of until uh, I saw the post. But I looked into them and they look like they're really good polishes. So this is all one brand, 151 polishes. And then I also uh, got two stands that um, they're actually for the captioned nail polishes specifically. And they hold... Um, 62 polishes each so i'll be able to fill both of those up and then have some extras um but the stains are really really cute like they spin and like they're really compact even though they hold 64 polishes um but i will show you those at the um end of the video um i'm probably going to split this up into three so i'm thinking 50 polishes per video so i have a big box here i've tried not to look at too much uh but they are piled in and i'm just going to pick out one at a time and show them to you. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I got both stands and 151 polishes for $75. Okay, so I'm just going to reach in. I'm not even going to look. Okay, so the first one here is a um, like grape purple. A lot of these are going to need sh like shaken because they were kind of just sitting. You can see they've got some dust where they've collected it. Um, but yeah, this is like a beautiful, it's actually kind of close to what I have on my nails, a little bit brighter. But I would just call this like a bubblegum grape. And the name is OMG Seriously For Real. And it's basically a full bottle. The formula looks really good. But this is just a cream. So here's what it looks like. I think this is really pretty. I love a purple. You all know that. So that is the first one. I am going to be wiping everything down and getting the dust off of it, but I will do that um, while I'm not filming. But yeah, so that's the first one, and it is OMG Seriously For Real. Next we have an orange, and this one needs shook up. This does have a shimmer or like a pearlescence to it. It's kind of like a tangerine orange, and it looks like a maybe like a golden or pink shimmer in there it's kind of got like a little bit of a shift this one is called get to the point uh, so far i think the names are gonna be really cute yeah that is really pretty and i don't have anything quite like this it's kind of like a sunset is what it makes me think of like a sunset shimmery orange tangerine shade i think that's really really pretty next we have another orange again it's gonna need shook up Okay, so this is a bright, fiery orange. Um, it does seem to just be a cream. There's still a little bit of separation, so I'm going to go through and really shake all of these really good. Um, this one is called Wait For It. And I can already see it moving around in the bottle. Uh, this one kind of looks like it's going to be like a jelly finish, which I really like. But... That is a beautiful fiery orange. Y'all know I love these shades. Ooh, so next we have this beautiful icy blue with a silver shimmer in it. Instantly thought of like Cinderella. Oh, that is so, so pretty. My husband is going to like that. He loves shades like this. And this one is called Anywhere But Here. Next we have a pale yellow. It needs a good shake a cream finish and this is kind of like a butter color honestly there's still some separation so let's see what it looks like in the bottle yeah this is basically the color of a stick of butter which i don't dislike <laughs> and this one is called ain't no thing all right next we have like a dusty pink and again it needs a good shake this is like a beautiful like dusty pink and it is called feeling myself not too bubble gum so i really like it i think i'm gonna like this on my skin tone 
formula looks good. There's a little bit of a peachiness to it, but I really, really like this one. And again, that is filling myself. Ooh, so next we have a specialty finish. It is a pink holographic. Uh, I guess I would call this like a scattered hollow, but the base of it is a real light pink. And I hadn't mentioned it, but I really like these bottles. They are just very sleek. I like the like gunmetal cap. Very, very cute. Once I get them all cleaned up, I think they're going to look adorable. But that is a very, very strong hollow polish. Probably the most holographic polish I own as of now. And this is called Drinks on Me. <laughs> really cute name. Let's see what. Oh, and the formula is really good. This is going to be more of like a topper rather than like an opaque polish but I think that is so so pretty and it's nice and thin it's not too chunky so this is very unique to my collection it's kind of a orangey peachy like nude tan and then it has some I don't know if that's holographic in there or what but it's definitely got some glitter flex yeah I see it now there are some definitely holographic Flex in there. Hey, babe. Yeah. Okay. Right love you. I think this is so, so pretty. And this one is called Looky Looky. Definitely unique to my collection. I'm like so pleased with everything so far. Loving everything. And the bottles look so cute together. And I can't wait to get them in their stand. I have a red. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. So this is like a metallic pearlescent red with like an orange shift i hope that you can see that on the edges wow this is right up my alley i love a red polish and i don't have anything like this this reminds me of like dorothy's slippers it's like pure fire it looks like silk or something i hope that you can see that orange right there on the edge of the bottle this one is called essentially single this is beautiful okay one of my favorites so far absolutely love this okay y'all look at this this is gorgeous this is like a peridot yellow green it's not gold it's definitely got like a yellow green uh, base and then it has those chunky hex holographic glitters all throughout wow this is beautiful look at that oh my gosh okay so definitely one of my favorites again and this is called act act like it matters wow that is beautiful i hope this is like coming across as gorgeous as it is the holographic in these is very strong I want to show you again with this one and the formula is not exactly the same this has larger hex glitters where this is more of a I guess a linear holographic both stunning though and again that is act like it matters next we have a white cream or maybe like an off-white it's, I don't think it has any pearlescent or anything. No, it's basically just a white cream. More, maybe like an eggshell. And it is called Keep It Simple. And honestly, I think this is a really pretty white polish. Again, it's not like stark, stark white. There's a little bit of something to it that's a little bit um, muted, I guess is the word I'm looking for. But I think this is a beautiful white polish, so I really like that. And it's called Keep It Simple. So next we have a beautiful pink shimmer, like pearlescent. It's like a, almost like a champagne, I guess is what I would call it, with a silver type shimmer reflect. And this is called Slump Bump. That is so pretty. It's like a pinky rose gold champagne metallic really really like it and i don't think i have anything quite like this in my collection either so i think that is a very pretty shade okay so next we have 
a kind of like a bluey green it's a little bit separated I'm gonna try to shake it up a little bit more okay so it's kind of like a dusty deep mint I guess I don't really know how to explain it like there's a lot of gray with a tinge of a green hue to it so what would you call that um this one is called gimme gimme and I love shades like this I have uh, a few polishes kind of in this range and I don't know really what to call them I, w I guess it's kind of like a gray leaning sagey green kind of um Again, it is a little bit separated, but I really, really like this one, and it's called Gimme Gimme. Ooh, this one's pretty. My husband will like this one as well. So this is like a peach with a blue-pink shift. I don't know if you can really tell about that shift, but it is so pretty. I feel like this is such a unique combination of shades. This is the kind of look that my husband likes. This one is called Walk to the Light, but it's definitely got a thin jelly finish. You can really see that blue reflect on the brush. All right, next we have like a bronzy uh, metallic shade. Um, it looks like there's some glitter or shimmer in there, maybe like a soft gold. It's really pretty, really reflective. Yeah, it looks like a pretty full coverage metallic. I like this. These always just make me think of like special events. If you want to look really like dressed up and classy and kind of match maybe like the jewelry that you're wearing or something. Um, but this one is called Can't Hardly Wait. And yeah, I think it's really, really pretty. All right, next we have a really pretty nude. And this one, it kind of reminds me of another nude that I have. Maybe All or Nothing by Essie might be what I'm thinking. Oh, let me see. Uh, it's um, Sing Songbird Along. It's kind of a similar tone to that. This one has a little bit more of a peach where this has kind of like a yellowy tinge to it. But I really like these uh, nudes where they're very light and they don't clash with my skin tone too much but this one is called welcome to my life and i think this is just a really pretty nude shade and i don't think i have anything quite like it i think the closest i have is the essie and there's still quite a bit of difference Ooh, okay so next we have a beautiful baby sky blue this one is called come up for air i love shades like this i'm sure i have some dupes for this shade but i still plan on keeping it so far i haven't come across anything that i would want to declutter but i absolutely love shades like this and like i said i'm sure i have several that would be a dupe and i might swatch do some swatch comparisons later on but uh, i see no re no need to get rid of it so that is come up for air okay so next we have a deep plum purple and it is called hurt so good this one has a little bit more of a pink or reddish hue to it than that very first one that we opened it's more of a blurple if you can see here it's got more of a blue base where this has more of like a reddish kind of fuchsia berry tone to it and i really really like this again very similar to what i have on not quite as deep yeah, that is so pretty. That is like a perfect fall shade in my opinion. I love these kind of colors in the fall. There's quite a bit of brightness to it too. Even though it's kind of like a deeper um, color, there's like something about it that's got like a, like a bright, happy feeling to it. So that is Hurt So Good. Ooh, okay. So next we have, I don't even know how to describe this. To me, it looks like a golden olive green base with a purple shift. I don't know if that is the best way to describe it, but that's, in my eyes, that's what I'm seeing. Quite a lot of like greeny gold shift uh, base to it. And then that very bright purple pink shift is what I'm seeing. And it's called Take a Chance. This is a very unique shade, I feel. 
see a lot of purple on the brush. Um, yeah, I feel like this is like a prugly color, but I really, really like it. That purple shift is very, very strong. So, very interested to see what this one looks like on the nails. Ooh, okay, so this is beautiful. This is like a white, off-white off champagne-y color. It's got that red, like orangey red shift in there, and there are uh, matte um, hex glitter, I guess. Uh, it's matte glitter, I don't know if that's what you would call it, but there's um, hex glitter and then little small white matte glitters as well. And then you have that bright red shift. I can't tell if the base is clear. Yeah, it looks like the base is just clear. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited for this one. It's like fire and ice kind of a vibe. What's it called? If it's not one thing, it's another. That is so unique. Definitely don't have anything like this in my collection. So it's definitely staying. Most of these or all of these probably will be staying. I feel like I keep getting a glimpse of like a green. I feel like you can kind of see that on camera as well. Um, but it might just be that gold. It's kind of like a greenish gold shift in there. But very, very pretty. Okay, next we have a burgundy shade and it's not a matte there's definitely like a shimmer in there but it's like a burgundy on burgundy definitely a beautiful fall shade it's not quite oxblood you can see on the uh, lip there there's some fuchsia purpley kind of uh, tones in there this one, this one is called socially antisocial and I think that is very pretty. Definitely a fall shade, but I really, really like this one. Ooh, okay. Love this. This is like a dusty lilac purple with a silver glitter. This one is called Take Me Out Tonight. It's like a pinky purple. Let's see what the formula looks like on the brush. Yeah, I love that. Again, this is the kind of shade my husband likes. Those frosty, shiny, pale shades are his favorite. And that one is called Take Me Out Tonight. <laughs> my nails look so bad. I can't wait to paint them. So next, we have another, like, off-white nude. So, again, it's kind of like a eggshell kind of shade. Uh, I think it's a little bit less peach than one of the other ones that we already unboxed. This one is called Kill It With Kindness, and I want to compare it to the other one. It's a little bit lighter and brighter than um, Welcome to My Life, but they are very, very similar, and it has more yellow, as you can see, but that needs uh, mixed up a little bit more. But I do still like both, and we'll be keeping both. But... Again, just another nudie shade. Ooh, okay, so next we have a bright, hot, like a reddish pink. I would definitely call it red more than pink, but it's like a fiery coral. Uh, it's called Sorry, I'm Not Sorry. This is a perfect summer shade. That is like hot neon pinky orange, and I am here for it. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so next we have a gunmetal top shimmer. I feel like I'm seeing a little bit of like a baby blue shift in the like corners or edges, whatever, but very pretty, very definitely very gunmetal. I'm seeing like a little bit of like a gold, golden hue in there. So it's kind of like a mix of cool tone and warm tone shimmer. And this one is called Worth a Small Fortune. Definitely looks like money or treasure or something that's worth something. So I think that one is very, very pretty. I love like gunmetal type polishes. 
Okay, so next we have this very, very deep purple and there is definitely a blue shift in there. It's not like a shimmer. There's no shimmer in here, but there's definitely something. Oh yeah, look at that. It's blue around the neck. So uh, I'm very anxious to swatch this. I think this is like a jelly formula maybe, but it looks purple until it's sheer and then it looks blue. Oh my gosh, I am excited for this one. I feel like this is going to be beautiful. Yeah, you can definitely see that blue in there. At least I hope you can. I can. This one is called Hold On Tight. Absolutely gorgeous. I kind of want to swatch it on my nail a little bit just to see. Yeah, that is like a beautiful deep blue. I absolutely love that. That is gorgeous. And that is hold on tight. Okay, so next we have another holographic glitter. This one is called On Full Blast. And this is a golden, orangey gold with a holographic hex glitter in there. Very, very pretty. It's kind of like a champagne, I guess is what I would call it. Like a deep champagne shade. Again, very beautiful. They do holographics really, really well. But again, that is called On Full Blast. Okay, ooh, okay, so next we have a green, and this is like a metallic, prugly green. It's definitely got a lot of like yellow in there and gold. This one is called Pining for Spring. That is very pretty. It's like a sagey green, maybe. Very, very pretty. I have some that's similar uh, as far as like the green metallics, but I don't think I have one quite in this shade. But it's, is pearlized the word? Maybe it's pearlized, not metallic. But I think that's very pretty. Pining for spring. All right, next we have another light nude. Uh, this one is called Eat, Shop, Play. And again, very just like light, pale. This one has more of a jelly formula, so I feel like it's going to be a little bit more sheer. Very similar to some of the other ones that we've opened, but I feel like it's really pretty. Like, I like it. I'm not complaining. Uh, it's a little bit more sheer than the other one that I had. But I'm excited to swatch it. I'm always in for a good nude polish. Looks like it's just a black. And the label's a little bit different on this one. Um, it's still captioned, but it has the young nails. So if you look here, it has the caption, um, which is made by young nails. But the um, label's a little bit different. But on the back and everything, all that's the same. And you can see it's young nails incorporated so I'm guessing this is like an older um, labeling but this one is called look don't touch and I believe it's just a black yep, just a black polish but I am okay with that I like a black polish so we'll be keeping that okay so next we have a really bright pink it's kind of like a peachy Bar Barbie bubblegum kind of pink. This one is called Perfects Not In My Vocab. And it's definitely on the peachy side. Very like almost coral. I feel like this is beautiful for summer. The formula is really good. Um, not my favorite kind of shade. You all know this about pinks. But I am definitely willing to give it a try. Ooh. So next we have... It looks like a purple, like a grayish purple, and then it has that green, gold, like peridot uh, glitter in there, giving that really pretty green shift. This one is called Gossip Armor. So I'm guessing like it's a gray base more than a purple, but there's definitely kind of like a purple tinge to it, at least to me, it kind of has a purple tinge. 
but I think that is very pretty. A lot of specialty finishes, which I'm excited about. I'm glad it's not all creams, which, I mean, I love creams, but I'm glad that we're getting some variety in the finishes. Yeah, I think that's very, very pretty. And again, that is Gossip Armor. Next, we have a very bright, like, tangerine shade. This one looks a lot like one of the first ones we opened. Let's see. Nope, this one is called Juice Me, so it is different, and it is a very juicy color. Now, that is a very bright coral, and more in my um, wheelhouse as far as a coral goes. More orange and less pink, so I feel like I'm really going to like this one. But that one is called Juice Me. Okay, so next, this one is going to be right up my husband's alley again. It is a beautiful pearly off-white with a shimmer in there that's almost like a light blue. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of coming off as a light blue to me. But it's like a very light pearly champagne. This one is called What Goes Around. And definitely one that my husband is going to love. Very like princessy. And I really like it. So that is what goes around. Oh, and th that one is a topper. All right. Now we have another one with an older label again. This is a bright, bright fuchsia. You can see that neon pink flash. And this one is called Can't Help But Smirk. And I do have a lot of shades in this, um like category and that's probably going to be my next um swatching video honestly swatch and compare because I feel like I have a lot of polishes very similar to this and so I don't need all of them but I am going to hold on to this one until I do that swatch and compare video but that is probably going to be the next um swatching video that comes up is going to be these type of shades all right ooh, next we have a very bright yellow this is very much like a lemon yellow is what I would call it. It is called Get Happy Fast. It's definitely a happy smiley face kind of color. Very, very pretty. It's kind of like a bright but pale yellow, if that makes sense. And I don't think I have anything like it. I have some yellows, but I don't think I have anything quite in this shade. And actually, I really, really like it. I think I would love that on my nails. And that is called Get Happy Fast. All right, ooh, I am excited for this one. This one looks like it's going to be like a jelly finish. But it is like a blue, green, dark teal. And it is called Good For Her. Yeah, it's definitely kind of like a jelly finish. Look at that. This is beautiful. Oh, I am obsessed already going to be one of my favorites, I believe. Yeah, I really, really like that. It reminds me of like a melted candy, like a melted Jolly Rancher or something. Yeah, definitely a favorite so far. And that one is called Good For Her. Okay, so next we have this beautiful shimmer. It looks like a purpley blue base. And then it has those champagne shimmers throughout very very pretty and unique to my collection this one is called so far so good yeah i absolutely love this finish of nail polish i think that is gorgeous so definitely unique i don't have anything quite like this and yeah i would call it more of a purple or a, more of a blue base than a purple but it's definitely kind of like a muted blurpley color very very pretty so we have another light nude shade this one is called free to do whatever and this one looks like i can't tell if that's just a lot hitting it or if it has like a pearliness to it mm, i can't really tell maybe it just needs shook up some more but i feel like there's a little bit of a pearliness to it maybe not but again, just another nude. I'm definitely going to have to go through here and kind of swatch and compare some of these because they are getting to where they're very close to one another. 
Um, but I won't really be able to tell until I swatch to see how opaque they are. Um, but yeah, this one is called Free To Do Whatever. Ooh, this is going to be one I love. Okay, so this is like a dark blackened base with a purple and blue shift in there with the shimmer. That is gorgeous. It's like gothic mermaid. And this one is called You Had Better Believe. Oh yeah, I absolutely love this. I love dark nail polish. I love blackened bases with those color shifts in it. So this one is going to be one of my favorites of the haul. I think that is gorgeous. Okay, so that one is called You Had Better Believe. Okay, so we have this deep, almost bronzy gold. And it is called Shine the Light. And it is just a metallic, and then it looks like it has some shimmer in there as well. Just the same color as the base. Yeah, this is basically a metallic bronze, bright bronze. I really like it, but not much to say. But I do think it's pretty. And that is called Shine the Light. We have another light kind of nudie shade, but this one is a little bit different. This one's a little bit more cool toned. And then there is a shimmer in there. It's like a, maybe like a light blue shimmer. I don't know if you can see that, but it is cute. And it's called Officially Over It. But actually, I really do like this one. I feel like that shimmer gives it a little something extra. But, and I do like the tone of this. I like the kind of the taupey cool tone that it has going on. And that one is called Officially Over It. All right, next we have a beautiful bright grass green. Y'all know I love these kind of shades and it does look like it's kind of a jelly finish. But it is a bright yellowy green and this one is called Create Change. Very, very pretty. I love a good green polish. It does need mixed up a little bit more, but I'm on board with this for sure. All right, next we have this kind of like a pinky purple, kind of like a lilac shade maybe. Maybe a little bit more pink than that. And it does have one of the older labels. And this one is called Heart You. So it's just a very cute pinky purple cream. I do like the tone of this a lot. It's very cool toned. And I don't feel like it's too bubblegummy because it has that kind of a purple hue to it. So that one is Heart You, and I do like this one. Now we have a gray cream, and this one is called Isn't That Nice. And I do like a gray cream. I only have a few, and I don't think I have one quite this tone. But I think that's a very pretty, very flattering color. And so yeah, definitely we'll be keeping this one as well. And it is, isn't that nice? Okay, this one definitely needs shook up some more, but this is a greeny, sagey color. We'll give it a little bit of better of a shake. Okay, so it's kind of like a dusty, dirty green, which is maybe a weird way of explaining it, but I like it. And it's called Cash In. I guess it kind of is the color of like a dollar. Kind of like that muted bluey green gray. I think that is very pretty, guys. That is a very flattering color, and I don't have anything like it. I love that. And that is called Cash In. Very, very cute. Okay, so next we have another like dark gunmetal top shade with a silver shimmer going throughout. This one is called Dust Yourself Off. And I want to compare it to the other gunmetal we have. Very pretty. I like it. But I'm trying to think of what the difference would have been between this one and the other one. I'm going to find it. Okay, so here's the other one. They are very, very similar. But actually the other one has more gold in it. Where this one's silver. So I don't know if you are going to be able to tell the difference. But there is a slight difference. I don't know that I will keep both of these. Um, I think I like the Worth a Small Fortune better than the Dust Yourself Off. But 
I will swatch and compare later on. But for now, I will hang on to both until I decide if they are both worth keeping once I swatch them. Okay, so now we have a very light gray. Like it's almost white, but not quite. And it's called Better Left Unsaid. And it looks like it's kind of a jelly, like thin formula maybe. I actually really do like this. I like the tone of it. It's not quite a white, maybe not really a gray either. But I do think it's pretty and I will have to compare it again to some of the other nudes. I think this kind of gives you a better understanding of the tone of it. It's a little bit more cool toned than some of the others. Ooh, I love this. So we have a beautiful fiery orange red with that shift. I don't know if you can see that like golden shift in there with different sizes of red glitter going throughout. This reminds me of like a dragon skin. That's exactly what this makes me think of. The texture, the color, all of it. This one is called Feeling Feisty. No, like if dragon skin was a nail polish, this is what it would look like. That is so pretty, oh my gosh. Definitely one of my favorites. I feel like the flakes in there maybe are a little pink more than red. I don't know if you can tell, but that is so pretty. All right, one of my favorites so far, and I still have so many to go. Okay, so last polish for this video, it'll be 50 and uh, I will still have, uh, should have 101 to go. I'm going to dig in and go blonde here. Hopefully we get a good one for the last one. Okay, so kind of a boring one to end on, but I don't dislike it. This is kind of like a deeper, nudie, cool tone taupe, and it's called Cheers to Me. And it's definitely the deepest nude that we've had so far, and I do like the tone and shade. So, might not be the most exciting, but I do like it and we'll be keeping it. And that is called Cheers to Me. So, that is the last polish for this particular video. So, that was 50. And I still have a completely full box. It is so heavy. Um, but, yeah, so far I love everything. There's been no repeats. And I don't even know what my favorite would be. I have several that I'm obsessed with. This one is really, like, calling my name among others but so far i'm very very happy very pleased very excited but i love you guys let me know which one of those was your favorite do you have caption nail polishes do you have any of these in particular um but which one's your favorite so far please like comment and subscribe and i will talk to y'all soon bye